and it's not currently almost 12.15 in the morning. And we're also going to pretend that I'm not rushing to finish this video. Anyways, so today we are, like my last video if you haven't watched it, I suggest go watch it. It is how to sing slash how to sing better, but we are again taking it back to old Kayla days and we are actually doing my first official YouTube video all over again when I am more comfortable in front of the camera and not as awkward, <laughs> even though I am an awkward person, but we don't have to talk about that part. I am going to be doing another how to do whistle notes video. It's probably not going to differ very much from the one that I did before, but I decided to do that. Do, 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 do. Yep, <laughs> I decided to do another one. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications, and let's get into the video. Oh yeah, and I am also not a vocal coach, so if you want like better information and more like solid information, please talk to a vocal coach. I am doing this with no notes, so I'm just kind of hoping and praying right now that I'm not going to forget anything. But first thing you want to grab before you do your whistle notes is water. Please, please have water when you're doing whistle notes. Please. <laughs> it helps to hydrate and hopefully not your vocal cords as fast. All right, what you absolutely, absolutely need to do before you start doing your whistle notes or before you start learning to do whistle notes is warm-ups. And you don't want to just warm up your whistle, oh my god, I can't speak, whistle register. You also want to warm up like your entire voice. So do some vocal warm-ups, not just whistle note warm-ups. Do the whole, whole vocal warm-up. So <laughs> I did this in my last video, but I'll do a couple in this video too. Start off with a scale, so uh, and then go back down. Sorry, my voice is like not warmed up at all because it's 12 o'clock at night, so just bear with me, okay? And then do some ooh, up, ooh, and then keep going up the scale. And then I didn't mention these in my last video, so I'm gonna mention them now. What I really like to do is to warm up your voice instead of doing like scales and all of that stuff, which are really good to do, please still do them. But what I usually end up doing is just singing like really soft songs and then like working up to the really like, you know, belty songs. So like the quieter songs, like warm up my voice so that I don't destroy it when I sing like the belty songs. And then another thing I also really like to do is this older trend the bad romance challenge <laughs> so you just like sing oh, 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 caught in a bad romance and then you just keep going up which is also something i really like to do to warm up my voice and it actually works so yeah those are four suggestions of warm-ups you can do now on to the whistle note vocal warm-ups <laughs> so i have you can think of two right now which are probably two best ones that you can do so first you want to do lip trills <laughs> Keep doing that. And then you also want to literally sound like a siren. <laughs> so go. I don't want to do that too much because people in my house are trying to sleep. So those are two really good vocal warm ups for your whistle register. All right, now we're getting into like, I guess like how it works. I guess I just kind of like last minute decided to throw this in here because for a school project, I actually did the physiology of singing. So I kind of know like how it works when you do whistle notes and like sing and stuff, like how your vocal cords move. Kind of cool. But when you do whistle notes, I'm not even going to try and remember the names of the muscles. So they're all in like a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm not going to look up right now. But anyways, basically what happens when you're singing your whistle notes is your vocal cord muscles like stretch. So they lengthen and like they become really thin and they vibrate really quickly so that it makes a really high pitched sound. I don't know if any of you are interested in that, but just in case you are, there it is. Okay, so now into like actually singing whistle notes. So make sure you are relaxed. Please, everything has to be relaxed so that you're not tense, so that the whistle notes come out nice and not screechy. <laughs> because if you're like all like that, then your whistle notes will be the same. So, you know. And then also, you need to be pushing with your diaphragm so that you like support the sound coming out of your mouth. 
<laughs> so it's not like wavery it's like nice and solid so yeah nice and relaxed and pushing with your diaphragm and a way to help being relaxed is being in a place where you feel the most comfortable whether that's like where nobody can hear you at all. So I suggest like in the car or like in your garage or in the car in your garage. If you have that kind of thing, even if you don't, I don't know, just go sit in the car in your driveway or something. Your room is a really nice place. My room is where I learned to sing. I mean, people in my house could hear me, but like I didn't really care. So I mean, if you don't really care if people in your house hear you, your room's a perfect spot. And with whistle notes, what you're going for is not loudness and like projection it's just like it's like in the middle of loudness and quietness kind of i guess you could say because if you're like too quiet it won't come out right and if you're too loud it's just gonna sound really really screechy and yeah so you're gonna want to like try and aim for like the middle of the two volumes so once you put all of that stuff together <laughs> your whistle notes should kind of sound like this So that's kind of all the information that I have, but the last thing that I will say is whistle notes take a lot, a lot of practice. Trust me, I had to practice for so long before I got my whistle notes, let alone like nice falsettos. So don't think it's gonna happen within like a month or two. It's gonna take longer than that, trust me. I'm self-taught, so I taught myself how to do like pretty much everything that I know how to do and sing. I went to a vocal coach to like learn more and like improve. And also for practicing, please don't practice too much a day. I suggest practicing for like 10 or 15 minutes a day because you don't want to strain your, vo your vocal cords and then you're not gonna be able to sing for like, I don't know how many days or like weeks because your voice will just hurt too much. Trust me, it's happened to me multiple times. It sucks, okay? It really sucks. So please, I don't want that to happen to you. But if it ends up happening to you, a really good tea that I, literally the only tea that I drink, it's literally hot water, lemon, and honey. That's it. And that's the only tea I drink and it seems to really work for me. So hopefully it'll work for all of you. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope I didn't forget anything because I don't have any notes to like help me through this. I was just winging it this entire video. <laughs> so if you want like to see, oh my goodness, if you want to see awkward me explain kind of the same thing I just explained, go to my older video. I think I posted it around two years ago, but it's my first like official YouTube video on this channel. If you want to, I guess, see awkward me explain this, you can go check that out because <laughs> I don't know if I like left out any information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment any video or cover suggestions you may have below like and subscribe if you like my channel and you like watching my youtube videos remember you guys are loved and appreciated and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye <laughs>